The Mulid of the Holiest Man in Creation Welcome the first spring of the springs and Juma Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah. O oh, my beloved holiest prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you. You are indeed an incredible and outstandingly the first spring of the springs reflecting on your holiest name muhammad peace be upon you brought me to the vibrant center where i was surrounded by the reality of the exactitudes here the only option available to me was to undertake the mystical journey to understand you more I hastily undertook the journey from the bottom of my heart. Having reached there, I was the subject of infusion into your presence, O holiest of name. I then wondered, but not surprised, that your holiest name consists of four letters of the Psalm of 92 which is exactly a multiple of four without a remainder. I wondered, but not surprised, that the four letters of your holiest name are the reflection of the four words of the Tahlil, that is, there is only one God, Allah, La ilaha illallah. I still wondered, but not surprised, that your holiest name, Muhammad peace be upon you, appeared four times in the holiest of books, the Holy Quran. I wondered, but not surprised, that your holiest name has the strongest cemented relationship with the first verse of the first words of the first chapter of the holiest of books, the Holy Quran, which is the Basmala. I wondered, but not surprised, when I read from the Holy Quran, chapter 68, verse 4, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasized to the entire universe about your highest moral values. Oh, my beloved, the holiest of prophets, my beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and most surely, O oh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you, conform yourself to the greatest sublime morality. With this divine testimony from the Creator Himself, how many salutations can I say upon you, O oh, holiest Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you, to be close enough to the testimony of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator, thousands, millions, billions or trillions i wondered but not surprised that you demonstrated your sublime morality when on one occasion you were fast asleep far away from your companions under a shady tree from an expedition and a non-muslim arab drew his sword on you he asked you who can save you from being killed by me you answered him allah and immediately your vibrational sequence, your frequency resonance, your electromagnetic field and your law of attraction of your holiest voice of calling Allah made him fell to the ground with his sword. You got up and drew his own sword on him and asked him the same question, who can save you from me? He answered you with all the fright in him he said you alone can he declined to accept islam but however promise you not to fight you anymore you helped him up on his feet and handed to him his own sword whilst your sword was far away from you you bid him farewell still not armed this moral value you exhibited there left him astonished and surprised then he got back to his own people he declared and described you to them as follows i return to you safely from the most compassionate of men 
Reference Al-Bukhari, Muslim and Riyad Salihin, Book 1, Hadith number 78. Please look at this picture. I wondered, but not surprised, that in 1935, the Supreme Court of the United States of America honored you, O my beloved Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you, as one of the greatest lawgivers of the world. This distinguished honor and testimony about you, my beloved Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you, was indeed a manifestation of your exhibition of the greatest sublime morality as stated in the Holy Quran, chapter 64, verse 4. I wondered, but not surprised, that the bloodless takeover of Makkah by you, O holiest of prophet my beloved holy prophet muhammad peace be upon you was also indeed an exhibition of your greatest sublime morality when you forgave and honored your arch enemy an enemy of islam abu sufyan who sponsored all the wars against you O holiest prophet muhammad peace be upon you and muslims you forgive him my beloved holiest prophet. In addition to that, you made an announcement that the house of Abu Zafian was saved and not only saved but also that anyone who sought refuge in Abu Zafian's house was also saved wonderful indeed reference sahih abu dauda hadith number 3021 and 3022 i wondered but not surprised when i again read from the holy quran chapter 4 verse 113 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphatically stated about the unbreakable strength of the Holy Quran and your highest achieved grace by him to the entire universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said thus, and they cannot harm you, O Muhammad, peace be upon you, in any way, whilst Allah has revealed to you the book that's the Quran, and bestowed upon you the refined wisdom, and taught you what you did not know, and Allah's grace on you is very great. I wondered, but not surprised, that you come into the world, O my beloved holiest of prophets, Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you. On the world stage, you absolutely injected into the world the most vibrant civilization and the advancement of science and technology. Please watch this video. It is widely accepted that the car is probably the most beloved of all mankind's inventions and that the steam-powered locomotive triggered the Industrial Revolution and that the airplane and jet engine are two of the most important inventions of our time. But what is not so widely known is that these inventions include technology invented by the Arab and Muslim inventors of the Middle Ages. Mechanical flight is believed to first have been achieved successfully by the Muslim astronomer, musician, and engineer Abbas ibn Farnas. In 875 AD, after having perfected a machine of silk and eagle's feathers, Ibn Farnas took off from a high mountain cliff near his home in Cordoba, Spain. He flew to a significant height, and witness accounts state that he remained in the air for up to 10 minutes before he crash landed. In 953 AD, the first fountain pen was invented. Tired of messy quill pens, al muazz al-Din Ilah, the Caliph of Egypt, demanded of his court engineers a pen which would not stain his hands or clothes. Records show that he was provided with a pen which held ink in a reservoir and delivered it to the nib via gravity and capillary action. In his book, The Book of Knowledge and Ingenious Mechanical Devices, published in 1206 AD, Al-Jazari described over 50 mechanical devices, most of which he invented himself. Among his most important inventions is the crankshaft and connecting rod mechanism. 
The hand-operated crank was known in Han, China, but El Jazari was the first to incorporate it in a machine, thus inventing the crankshaft. Both the steam engine and the internal combustion engine use crankshafts to transform linear motion from pistons to rotary motion that can drive a vehicle forward. The first application of a double acting principle is seen in his ingenious double action reciprocating piston suction pump. Among El Jazari's other inventions, the Castle Rock was an astronomical clock and analog programmable computer that could calculate the solar and lunar orbits while displaying the zodiac and playing music. In 1551, Takyadin Asadi, the Ottoman's most famous scientist, invented the first impulse steam turbine. High pressure steam was directed at the bucket shaped blades of the turbine forcing it to turn according to Newton's second law. This type of turbine is still used today for water turbines and proved more efficient than other types of water turbines. Later, in 1559, Asadi invented a sophisticated six-cylinder monoblock pump. It was a hydro-powered water-raising machine incorporating valves, suction and delivery pipes, piston rods with lead weights, trip levers with pin joints and cams on the axle of a water-driven scoop wheel. And those were great inventions that still shine bright in the stars of science galaxy. I wondered, but not surprised, when I posed this question to myself and to creation in its entirety. Is there any human being or extraterrestrial entity or an angel who has the capacity and the capability to quantify what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described as great? I mean the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Holy Quran chapter 4 verse 113 and Allah's grace on you O Prophet Muhammad peace be upon you is very great indeed my wonders and surprises reach their climax when I read from the Holy Quran chapter 33 verse 56 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels say salutations upon you O my beloved holiest prophet then he commanded the faithful to also salute you with a befitting salutations in fact I cannot find words to describe and express myself about my feelings and understanding of this incredible phenomenon of yours. O oh, my beloved holiest prophet, Muhammad peace be upon you with all my heart and with all my human strength and with all my capacity and my capability. I cannot demonstrate an atom's weight of salutations due you when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself salutes you. Despite that he created you and you are one of his creation. Peace be upon you. Obey one of your companions one day told you that he sends numerous salutations upon you and asks you whether it was enough to devote a quarter of his time saying salutations on you. You answered him that it was great and that if he added more it would have been greater. He asks you about half then to test and you answered him that would have been great but if he had added more it would have been greater finally he said that he would devote all his time saying salutations on you you then told him that saying salutations on you all his time would solve all his problems here on earth and the hereafter. Reference Mustad Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal at Trumizi Hadith number 2457 and 2645. O oh, my beloved holiest prophet Muhammad peace be upon you. I resolve to emulate obey by devoting all my time 
in saying salutations on you, O first spring of the springs. You are absolutely and most importantly the only one sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a mercy to the entire universe. Peace be upon you. Mulaya, Salli wa Sallim, Daiman Abadan, Allah Habibika, Hayrul Khaliki Kullihimi. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Habib Allah As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nur Allah As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Khair wa Khalqillah As salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Allah ahli atur bi'i'in 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 b